as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. More is our wake. We are taking our place on this planet. Islam Morris. My, uh, my nationality is Mormon. Out of the Holy Quran, Circle 7 by the Prophet Noble Jubafi. Starts off as such Ye are the children of one father, provided for by his care, and the breasts of one mother have given you suck. Therefore, let the bonds of affection unite thee, that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the love and truth that bindeth thee. To one blood. Oh boy, I said that wrong. I was trying to get to the chapter. Separate in the world. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that bindeth you to love and truth to each other in unity, and prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brother is in adversity, assist him. If thy sister is in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to you, to the support of you all, I mean, to his whole race, and his care to continue to you all for your love to each other. Islam? Islam. Islam. Yeah, chapter 25, that's the Holy Covenant to the Asiatic Nation. Islam, love and peace. So what we just witnessed was a group of Moorish sovereign citizens doing a prayer session. Now, this is the same group of Moorish sovereign citizens that have been constantly going into the sheriff offices, handing them a bunch of Moorish sovereign citizen paperwork. These are the same people that I have videos of them going to properties and putting up their Moorish documents and claiming that they're going to take over the buildings and things of that nature. So I have a question for Rami Salam Al. He has a YouTube channel and he is doing a great job at showing how Taj Tariq Bey is a scammer and he wants to separate, he wants to show the difference and separate real Morris Americans from the sovereign citizen Morris Americans. But as we just saw, the sovereign citizen Morris Americans, they're reading right up out of that circle set in Quran. Now, Rami Salam L, you hang your hat on trying to separate yourself. You constantly go into into the Circle 7 Quran and quote Noble Juali's words. Well, we just heard these sovereign citizen Moors doing the same exact thing. They He literally read straight from the Circle 7 Quran. So how do you now separate yourselves from these individuals when you all are reading out of the same literature that Noble Juali set forth. Now, the problem that I have with a lot of these Moorish Americans, and unfortunately, Rami, you, in my opinion, fit in this category. You, 
you try to conflate the Moorish American religion with what the world knows as to be Islam, the Mohammedan religion. And quite frankly, it is it's not right to do that because the Moorish American version of Islam is not Orthodox Islam. It's not even the same religion. So I have a big issue with Moorish Americans such as yourself conflating the two religions. Now, I disagree with Tahaka Bay on a lot of things, but one thing that I do respect Tahaka Bay for is he, the same way Rami tries to separate the sovereign citizen Moorish Americans from the temple Moorish Americans, the same way Rami you do that, Tahaka Bay separates the Moorish American religion of Islam from the Mohammedan religion of Islam, what you guys like to call the pale Arab religion. And I find when you guys say things like that, it is offensive because in the Islamic world, it's a very big religion. We don't title anything that way. We don't title it. We don't label it as the pale Arab religion. When, when, Moorish Americans like New More Order do that. It is disrespectful when you bring up Islam like that. And to correct, to correct, homie, your chat, I'm not an Orthodox Muslim, bro. I don't follow, you know what I'm saying, pale Arabs, if that's what you think. I'm from Chicago. I don't follow Farrakhan. I'm a Muslim. I read the book, you know what I'm saying? I submit to Allah. And that's it. I ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not with the more Science Temple, even though I like the teachings. To me, that, that thing need to get cleaned up. That's why I like what Rami doing. But um, no, I ain't, I ain't what you think I am, bro. So now this is to New More Order. You claim to be a Mohammedan Muslim, but then you, you another one, you try to conflate the Mohammedan religion. Well, then again, you don't really try to conflate it, but it's almost as if you try to practice both just because they're both called Islam. Now, this statement goes to both you, Rami, and New More Order. And this is an example of why I say you guys try to conflate both religions, even though they are two separate religions. Both of you guys are Moorish Americans. You subscribe to the Circum 7 Quran and you subscribe to Noble Juali being your prophet. Yet, you both have admitted to fasting for Ramadan. Rami, I know this is something newer for you. I think maybe this is your second year fasting. I don't know how long New More Order You've been fasting, but you fast for Ramadan, yet you just came on and said that you don't follow the pale Arab religion. Then if, if you don't follow a pale Arab religion, what do you call that? And like I said, even describing the religion of Islam as a pale Arab religion is disrespectful. And you also came on the call with Rami speaking Arabic. So what do you call that? What's going I'm on? Good bro, like, I'm, like in my salon, Ramadan Mubarak. What's good with you? Uh, no disrespect to Moorish Americans and their religion. Their religion isn't Islam. And that's why I respect to Haka Bay when he clearly makes the distinction between the two religions because there should be a clear distinction because they are two totally separate religions. Now, I respect everyone's religion. Everybody has the the freedom to believe whatever they want. 
So you Moorish Americans believe that Noble Jew Ali is your prophet, but when we talk about Orthodox Islam, that is a no-no. There is no other prophets outside of Muhammad. Muhammad is the last prophet. So Noble Jew Ali could never be a prophet in regards to Islam. So that's why, in my opinion, Noble Jew Ali did a terrible disservice to his people by naming the religion that he created the same as a religion that already existed. And this is why we now have all of this confusion now mixed in with this sovereign stuff because Noble Jew Ali's blueprint and what he left behind was very confusing. And honestly, now I'm talking to Rami again, I respect the fact that you are trying to clean up the mess that Noble Jew Ali left behind because of all of these misinterpret and misinterpretations of his words. But to be quite honest, I don't think you'll ever be able to clean up the mess. It's just too much confusion, too much esoteric talk and these stories that these that has been made up about Noble Jew Ali. My point is this. The religion that Moorish Americans follow is not Islam. And when we look at the definition of Muslim in the dictionary and also Islam in the dictionary, those two definitions are not referring to Moorish Americans and their religion at all. Now, I'm going to put up the definition to both words, Muslim and Islam. We'll take a look at it and we'll see if there's any mention of any Moorish Americans. Like I said, this is not a dig at anyone. This is just my thoughts. And if anybody wants to respond to what I said, if I said anything wrong or offensive, that's not my intent. I don't want to offend anyone, but, you know, I just wanted to speak my mind on this madness that is taking place in this world with this sovereign sovereignty stuff mixed in with religion and civics. And that's another thing. Noble Jew Ali mixed in civics and nationality with religion. There's no other religion that does that. It's just confusing. Civics has nothing to do with religion. They're two separate things. And what he did was just left a bunch of confusion. Hey, let's have a